belongs to you. You paid the price for me way back on Calvary. And so I praise you. I lift you up. I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise.
God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As we are about to go in a session of prayer, bless God. Hallelujah. I'm asking that we will um, hold someone's hand, bless God, and pray for that person. Encourage that person in prayer, bless God. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. Um, there's a prayer request for a sister, Jackie, that needs to be healed miraculously. Bless God. And I'm, I'm not sure if there's any other prayer. Bless God. But as I said, just find someone. Hold that person's hand. Bless God. As we pray the strength of our brothers. Bless God. We're going to say the chorus one more time, and then we're going to pray. Bless God. Hallelujah. And I will... Not be silent, I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, I will. righteous eternal God and Savior King of kings and Lord of lords the great beautiful rose of Sharon hallelujah you are the God who spoke and it stood fast mighty God you ordain creation into being by merely speaking mighty God we give you all the praise and all the glory there is nothing that is too hard for you to do, God. For you are the God that specializes in things that seems impossible, God. Jesus Christ, we come before you right now for a one sister, Jackie, bless God. You know her situation, God. You know her cry, God. You know, Jesus Christ, the desire to be healed miraculously, God. Make a way, hallelujah, out of no way, mighty God. Destroy, hallelujah, the yoke, hallelujah, mighty God. And let healing virtue flow, mighty God. Prove the doubters wrong once again, mighty God. And your name will be glorified. God, we lift you up, Lord Jesus Christ. For you are worthy of all the praise and all the glory. As we stand here tonight, Jesus, as your children, Lord Jesus Christ, you know our different situations, God. You know the different circumstances that we are faced with, God. Jesus Christ, our down setting, our uprising, our going out and our coming in, mighty God. Lord God, you know them all, mighty God. Nothing is hidden from thee, God. Touch us once more, God. Make, Lord Jesus Christ, your glory. Fill our lives, Jesus Christ. Let our conversation, everything that we do on a daily basis, mighty God. Let it bring honor to your name, God. Let your life so shine before men that they might see your good works and come to glorify you, God, who is deserving of all the praise and all the glory. Lord God, do more than we're able to ask, God. Make ways out of no way. Hallelujah. Renew. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, revive. Hallelujah. Reconcile. Mighty God, as only you can. Hallelujah. And let when all is said and done, all the glory, all the honor, all the praise will be given unto you. 
Lord Jesus Christ, let after this Jesus Christ conference, mighty God, then testimonies will come forth, mighty God, of healing, Jesus Christ, of restoration, Jesus Christ, let their spirit flow, hallelujah, let someone come forth speaking in another tongue tonight, mighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, there is nothing that is too hard for you, God, have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. And let your purpose come alive in our hearts, Jesus Christ. In your son's mighty and precious name. In the name of Jesus Christ. We give you honor and we give you praise. For you are deserving of all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please turn your Bibles to Matthew 24, starting from the 21st verse until the 31st. Bless God. Say amen when you found it. Repeat in Matthew tw chapter 24, starting from 21 to the 31st verse. Bless God. Matthew chapter 24, starting from 21, and we alternate verses, and we begin. For then shall the great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time no, nor even shall be. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. There shall arise false, pro false prophets, and shall show you great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Behold, he is in the secret chamber. Believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the cock hath been, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. They shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Together, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. With the sound of the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. To the other. Bless God. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have the hymnal, um, a sister Chantel, please, um, we are asking us to remove your vehicle. You're blocking someone, the driveway. Bless God. Um, hymn number 12 from the Pentecostal hymnal. <laughs> Strong. 
tonight. Hallelujah. I am pressing on. Hallelujah. I am pressing on the upward way. You heights I am gained in every day. Lord, that's my 
Faith has called 
up. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven stable land a higher place than I have found Lord let my feet on Feel in the presence of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Lift those hands and worship Him. Hallelujah. I don't know about you tonight. Hallelujah. But I'm not here to play. Hallelujah. I'm here to wage war on the enemy. Hallelujah. Jesus. Last week, Wednesday night. Hallelujah. I was in my bathroom. Getting ready for work. Forget something and I came out. Before I knew it, hallelujah, I hit my head on the bathroom tub. Slipped and hit my head. Hallelujah. Because of that, I'm not here to play tonight. Because the enemy, he's out to kill you. So you come here night after night and think the enemy is playing. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. You better lift your hands and worship him. Hallelujah. Ha. Worship. I'm not here to bump anybody tonight. You have to know you have to know, hallelujah, the battles that the Lord have won for you. Hallelujah, I don't need to remind you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Say, so I better pull out the AK 47 and rage war on the enemy tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift those hands and worship him. Hallelujah. Send up a sweet smelling savor to Jesus. We in ignite. Ignite. Let's blaze this place up with some fire tonight. You send up your fire. Me send up my fire. Let's worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. I've been led to do this. From the moment the youth president asked me to moderate, I said, Jesus, what is this? Hallelujah. And from last week, hallelujah, it has been on me. The Lord is saying that there are some wounded soldiers in our midst tonight. We have been in youth service from Sunday night until Sunday morning until now. And on the penultimate night, the Lord is saying that we still have some persons still on the battleground. Hallelujah. Battered. Hallelujah. Wounded. Blood running from all sides. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, battered, bruised, tattered, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm going to ask you, hold hands tonight, because we're going to break every fetter tonight. Hallelujah, we're not going into any more of the service until we break every chain. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Pastor Seymour, I'm going to ask you to lead us in prayer tonight. Because we're going to mash up the plans of the enemy. Hallelujah! Jesus.
yes somebody say yes if you believe this word say yes if you believe this word say yes if you believe this word say yes say it from your belly bottom say yes somebody say yes holy ghost come on open your mouth say yes holy ghost yes holy ghost I want you to lift up your foot and step on the ground here. Hello, somebody. Lift up your foot and say, Yes, we need Holy Ghost in here tonight. Yes, yes, Putashaya. Yes, and the choir. Yes, for the preacher. Utabahaya. Katashato. I say, Yes, we need people to get the Holy Ghost. Yes, Katashaya. Miracles must take place. We say yes. Ushaya. Father, we come before you tonight. You are Lord. You are the sweet rose of Sharon. You are the lily of the valley. You are the bright and morning star. There is none like you. Lord God, you rule in the affairs of men. You send in your words in all our ways. We should acknowledge you and you will direct our path. Lord Jesus, as we come one more night into this edifice, we are mindful that when the sons of God turn up for worship, there's a spirit that always here. We're not even careful to call his name, but we know you are God. I'm asking you to deposit your anointing everywhere we tread upon tonight. Every witch I serve you on notice in this house tonight. A rage war from this premises has come in upstairs. I release some red hot blood. I feel war in here. Somebody say blood of Jesus. Come on, man, open your Pentecostal mouth. I say blood, blood. I release some blood in here. I'm not releasing the blood for covering. I'm releasing the blood uh, to kill anything. Hayakasha. The last time I checked it in Exodus chapter 12, the blood was used uh, as a weapon. Hayakasha. Touch every heart. Uh, move from heart to heart. Soul to soul. Bench to bench. Uh, pew to pew. Heart to heart. Lord Jesus, remove the human spirit. Kill every human spirit. We bind up every human spirit. Let your spirit alone move in this house. Let the Holy Ghost rock this house. Take over this house. I cheer so that we each right. Petty sight, Juby sight. I cheer so out. When the choir come to minister, sit on the Holy Ghost. Rabakata. I feel God in this house. Yetosha. Touch the leadership of this house. Bishop Garfield daily and everyone work along with him. Let the fire be upon the preacher tonight. Let the altar be full of the fire. Somebody say fire. Open your mouth. Touch the moderator. Everything God. Send your glory. Let your glory fill this house. Fill this house. Fill this house. Lord Jesus. Jesus, uh, those who are viewing at home, walk in their bedroom. Those who viewing, touch their hearts. Uh, who shut uh, in the name of Jesus? Uh, bless the night. Uh, turn up as you have never turned up before. Show yourself strong, strong deliverer. Uh, be our strength, uh, be our shield in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Father, we decree and declare. We are moving onward to glory. We are pressing onward for the presence of Almighty God in this house. Have your way tonight. Bless your people. Bless those who are coming. Bless those who are here. Hallelujah. Let God arise tonight. Let, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. We kill them tonight. Turn up the fire. Usha. Those who been singing from Sunday, give them an extra push. Those who been singing, feeling tired in their body, give them an extra push in the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, Yes, Lord. 
Somebody shout, yes, Lord. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. If you believe it, open your Pentecostal mouth. Open your mouth and say hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Ready up now. Ready up now. Hallelujah. The battle face is on now. Yes. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told General greeting in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, everybody. Can we bless the Lord one more time? It is indeed a pleasure. It really is a pleasure to be in Ignite another year. And I am, I am just grateful to God be the glory. I first want to greet Jesus, who is the head of my life. In him I live, in him I move, in him I have my being. All right, bless God. I want to greet Bishop in Jesus' name. I want to greet the ministers and our leaders. I want to greet the heads of the department. I want to greet the musicians, the singers, the congregation at large. I greet you in the powerful name of Jesus. Most of all, I definitely want to greet 
the visitors in our house. Everybody, can we make some noise for the visitors? Hallelujah. That's right. So we do have we do have a few people here visiting tonight, and we're always grateful to have you. So I'm just gonna ask you, as you hear your name, I'm gonna ask you to stand and to remain standing, all right? Because we're gonna come and greet you and we're gonna come and spread some love. All right. So first we're gonna ask Brother Tavin Harris to please stand. Could you clap as he stands, everybody? Brother Tavin Harris. Hallelujah. Bless God. We're going to ask Brother Jay Robinson to stand. Brother Jay, Brother Jay. Come on, Faith Chapel, make some noise. Hallelujah. No, Brother Jay. All right. Sister Suzette Dunbar. We're going to ask you to stand. Hallelujah. Bless God. Sister Tanisha Schiaffe Powell. I hope I got that right in Jesus' name. Sister, Sister Tanisha, could you please stand? Sister Tanisha? No, Sister Tanisha? Oh, she's okay. Hallelujah. Bless God. Brother Ajani Matthews, we're going to ask you to stand in Jesus' name. Come on. Faith Chapel. Jesus. And at last, we're going to ask the members of the Bethel Apostolic Church to please stand. Can we make some noise for Bethel, everybody? <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless God. Bless God. Watch the faces, you know. So at this time, we're going to ask everybody to stand. Everybody. 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 Yes, that's you. Hallelujah. Bless God, we're going to be singing our welcome song. We welcome you in Jesus' name. And we're just going to be going around, greeting the visitors, greeting saints alike of like precious faith. And we're just going to be sharing some love in Jesus' name. Everybody, we welcome you in Jesus' name. We welcome you. We everybody walk around, leave your seats. We're just going to greet Jesus everybody in Jesus' name. God bless you. Come into our home where we make a joyful noise. On to the Lord, for He has been so good to us. We preach about the oneness of God. Jesus is the Father, the Spirit, and Son. We see the Holy Ghost baptized in Jesus' name. Live a holy life, we'll never be the same. We welcome you. Welcome to the child. this time, praise God, we'll have some special greetings. I was asked that our elders, our elders, hallelujah, we ask that you come, hallelujah, Elder Martin, Elder Smith, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. We're going to ask you to give us two minutes worth of exhortation slash greetings hallelujah and after that i'll ask pastor to give his as, as well hallelujah jesus elder martin praise the lord everybody praise the lord everybody can you shout the name of our god tonight can you shout the name of our god tonight if you're happy to be in the house of god one of course lift your hands one time and begin to worship him begin to worship him Begin to worship him. You are worthy to be praised. Now unto the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God. The only wise God. Amen. Onward to glory. You know what I like about God is that he's not like 
others. Amen. He has a way of, irrespective of where you are, he can pick you up. He can turn you around. He can set your feet on solid ground. And when God changes a heart, he does a good work. Is there anybody who God has touched your life? Better yet. Is there anybody here who has started this journey and at some point in the journey, things happen and it seems as if the devil said, look, you're not going to make it. Anybody? But I'm glad that we serve a faithful God. Somebody say faithful God. We serve a God who the Bible says, now unto him that is able to keep us from and to present us Notice that word faultless, not blameless. <laughs> because the truth be told, every one of us, irrespective of who we are, <laughs> at some point in our life, the devil can point and say, you did that, you did that. The Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. But there was a blood that was shed at Calvary. And the Bible says in Leviticus, when I see the blood, so devil, you are a liar. And I'm onward to glory. God bless you. One more time, just lift your hands and begin to worship the King of Kings. The great God. The God of gods. And his name is Jesus. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Ella Smith. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we just lift our hands and just give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let us just lift our hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I just want to greet everyone. Amen. Bless the Lord. And you know, today I was just there when I was just thinking and I was just saying to myself, God's presence is his presence. You know? There's no watered down presence of the Lord. You know, when God shows up, he's the same God, he's the same Shekinah spirit that dwells between the cherubim. It's the same spirit that was in Christ. Amen. That did all those miracles. It's the very same spirit that is here. That, that tingle that you feel. is that very same spirit. Amen. And it has the same power that it has. It didn't get any power from the flesh. The power came from the spirit. And so whatever you need, you can receive it from that spirit that you are feeling. It is the spirit of the Lord. It is the presence of God. is here with us. Amen. And so whatever you need, you can receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, blessings, Pastor. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we clap our hands and magnify the great God of our salvation. Praise God. I greet the household tonight. Amen. In the wonderful name of Jesus, I want to join with Brother Michael Paul to greet all of us, every visitor in the house, every saint in the house. Amen. Everyone that is visiting us via the world wide web, I greet you all in the wonderful, wonderful, precious name of Jesus. And the theme says, onward to glory. Anybody in the house, you're on your way to glory tonight. Can I tell you, don't let Satan stop you on your way. Is that all right? Don't let Satan stop you. On your way. I'm going to ask us to stand, everybody. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Pastor Brown, welcome. Welcome. We have some unfinished things to talk about, but welcome into the house today. Let me hear the church praise the Lord. Let me hear the church praise the Lord. Let me hear the church praise the Lord. If the Lord have been good to you, won't you shout a praise? If the Lord has been wonderfully good to you, won't you shout a praise? 
Let everything that have bread praise the Lord. Let everything that have bread praise the Lord. I hear the writer say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Are you happy to be in the house tonight? The penultimate night of Ignite 2024. Put your hands together and celebrate Jesus, everybody. This is my testimony now. It's, a, it's an old chorus. You, Mr. Barnes, you know, say if you cut. All right, thank you. Because I don't want to disrupt the flow. But the, 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 the chorus, and, and I, I asked June, not June. Ivan, just draw nearer because I want, I, want, I want to hear. You know, there's a little old chorus. Brother, you probably don't know about it because you're, you're, you're young. But there's a little old one say, I'm a glad pilgrim. Hallelujah. On my way. Going to glory land. Onward to glory. Jesus, my only hope and stay. Holding me by the hand. If he wasn't holding us, Hallelujah. if he wasn't with us, if he wasn't walking beside us, we would have gone already. We would have missed our way already. We would have not been up to this point in the house. But thanks be to God. He's our God. He's our Lord. He's our Savior. He's our Keeper. And every step that I take, amen, he's walking with me. Every step that you take, he's walking with you. And so we're going to sing and we're going to make this be our testimony tonight in the name of Jesus. Are you ready, saints of God? Are you ready to glorify God some more? Come on, we get ready to go sing us. Yes. Singers. Oh, I'm a glad pilgrim on my way. Yes. Going to glory land. Come on, church of God. Oh, 
like to take a very special offering hallelujah tonight we're asking that you give off your best tonight hallelujah there's nothing you can give to God that he cannot return hallelujah press down shaken together running over hallelujah sister Rochelle please play and we bow our heads Great and righteous Father, we give you all the glory tonight. Mighty God, we honor you, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Mighty God, Jesus, we glorify you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this moment, this time, so we can worship you. We give you, God, our worship tonight. But mighty God, as we are about to give back a portion of what you have blessed us with, we are asking that you bless it, press it down, and shake it together, mighty God, and let it be used for the furtherance of your kingdom. Mighty God, we give you thanks as we continue to worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Saints from Bethel United, we are asking you to come to minister in song in Jesus' name.
Please worship while they come, saints of God. Hallelujah. Keep the worship going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
glorify you, we magnify you, we bless your whole. Just a try a thing. We magnify you, we glorify you, we bless your holy name. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, we praise you, we magnify you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise God. We are going up. We're going up together. We're going up to conquer. Yes, in the name of the Lord. Going up, yes, we're going up together. We're going up to conquer in the name of the Lord. I am a warrior, I am a conqueror, I'm an overcomer. Lord. Yeah, I am a warrior. I am a conqueror. I'm an overcomer in the name of the Lord. Yeah, don't talk. No, no. Don't talk defeat to me. I am a child of God, and I've got the victory. Hey, don't talk, no, no. Don't talk defeat to me. I am a child of God, and I've got the victory. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. I'm a conqueror, I'm an overcomer, in the name of the Lord, yes, I am a warrior, yes, I am a conqueror, I'm an overcomer, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands and worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors through Christ. Hallelujah. The battle is already won. Hallelujah. It means that whatever fighting I'm fighting. Hallelujah. The crown is there. Hallelujah. Praise God at this time. I'm asking Sister Mayoka Cook to come, and she will introduce the speaker to us tonight. In Jesus' name. All right. Hallelujah. Just before Sister Mayoka comes, I'm going to ask the assistant pastor from Bethel to come. Pastor Admon, in Jesus' name, and greet us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout a hallelujah. If you are happy to be in the house of the Lord, jump on your feet and shout a hallelujah. Oh, yes. Look at your neighbor and tell them, I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. 
You know why? Tell them greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. That's why I've overcome the devil. Not because of how good I look. Not because of how good I dress. But I'm overcome because I am grounded in the blood of Jesus. Somebody clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. You may be seated just for a quick minute. I bring you greetings in the powerful and exalted name of Jesus on behalf of my bishop and pastor, Bishop Devon Charles Brown from the cool hills of Tony Hill. We're from Bethel United Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic. I am one associate pastor. There are three of us and there's a second one there, Elder Mark Brown and the choir. He's coming too. Elder Brown, you're coming too, you know. They say you're coming too. My God Almighty, I want to take time out to greet uh, Bishop Bailey and uh, the officers here at Faith Chapel of Faith Apostolic. Come on, put your hands together and give the praise for the man of God, his family and all the workers here. I want to especially acknowledge we call him in Bethel, our resident teacher, Elder Andrew Martin. Bishop Daly has so gracefully allowed him to come and to be a blessing in our lives. And I want to take time out as well to acknowledge all the men of God on the farm. Bless God Almighty. I see the fireman over there, Pastor Seymour Brown. My God Almighty. I see, of course, our friend, our brother, uh, Minister Brian all and all the men of God and women of God. It is a youth conference, and I tell you, Pastor Daly, as I stepped up uh, and as I came up the steps, I love the sound that I, I heard. There is a sound that goes with Pentecost. Alabo Shanda. There are many churches who have their different sounds. Don't look at me, I'm not throwing word. But there's a sound that goes with Pentecost. And when we are on one accord, the fire will fall. No matter whether you are Bethel or your faith chapel, no matter where you are from, once we are joined together in the power of the Holy Ghost, tell somebody God is up to something tonight. And I believe that as God moves, that somebody is going to be touched. Young people, get ready. Tell somebody, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. God is getting ready to pour out of his spirit. And when God gets ready to pour out of his spirit, there's going to be a mighty manifestation. God bless you tonight in Jesus' name. Praise God. Elder Mark Brown, quick greeting, quick greeting. Hallelujah. We shout a hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in this place. I'm not asking, I'm not ifing, but the presence of the Lord is in this place. Agreed, Bishop Daly. Senior Bishop, Junior Bishop, all the officers accept greetings, members. We're one big family. We're on our way to glory. And St. Paul caught the vision and said, Brethren, I count up myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, I forget those things which are behind and I press forward. It's pressing time, somebody. Touch your name as it's pressing time. God bless you in Jesus' name. My fellow associate pastor, bring greetings from Bishop Brown and the church. So accept greetings again in Jesus' name. We also have in our midst associate pastor Winston Francis from Bethel Temple Hall. Give a shout in Jesus' name. The missionary Dunbar over there is turning us out to their numbers tonight. And we give God praise and glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Sister Mayoka, your turn. Hallelujah, we need a word from God. Bless the Lord, everyone. Bless the Lord, everyone. Okay, so we're about to hear from a man of God, a true seeker of divine wisdom whose words re resonate with the power and authority of God's truth. His ministry is not just about delivering a message, but about embodying a lifestyle of surrender and perseverance, reflecting the glory of Christ in every step. 
On Sunday morning, Minister Brian Hall graced us with a powerful reminder of what it means to wait on God with a surrendered attitude. That is, embrace waiting on God with a mindset of denying self and following him, allowing Christ to be magnified in every aspect of our lives, persevering hardships for the sake of Christ, which means arm yourself mentally to endure hardship, knowing that your life's purpose is to reflect Christ's character and bring glory to God, and to always remember our journey of faith and the faithfulness of God. Acknowledge your journey and remember where God has brought you from, striving to be a living example of Jesus in a world that needs his light. Now, let us all stand as we welcome Minister Brian Hall to Faith Chapel once again and give him the warmest Faith Chapel welcome, ready to be blessed and edified by his inspiring words. Could we just give that young lady a... Uh, 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 could we just point your hands to her? Come, come, come here, come here, sis. Pastor, can I just ask you to allow her to sit on the restroom for tonight? Yeah. I'll have, the, I'll have this seat. I, I, want, I want you to get used to what God has in store for you. Hallelujah. Isn't God good for giving us so many blessings on this That's what we are. We are the thank you. Love and praise him for today. And I hold on for tomorrow. He's not good. Oh, yes, he's good to give us so many blessings on deserving. That's what we are. We are to thank him. Love and praise him for today. And I hold on for tomorrow. He's given us so many blessings undeserving. That's what we are. We are to thank Him. Love and praise Him for today and the whole of for tomorrow. Go ahead and thank Him. Go ahead and thank him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am truly blessed tonight to be in the presence of the Lord, to be worshiping the Lord with my brothers and sisters. Somebody said, when I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say, I've been blessed. I've got a testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and testify to somebody very quickly. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, we make mention that his name is exalted. Hallelujah. 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 It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Let me take time out. It is my pleasure to greet Bishop and Lady Daly, especially Lady Daly. <laughs> Bless God, I was somewhat saddened when I didn't see her on Sunday, but then when I understood why she was not here, I said, to God be the glory. <laughs> yes, she needed some rest. Amen. Bless God. Let me greet all my father's children. Too many to mention tonight. God bless you. It's just so good to see your faces. To God be the glory. I, I was just thinking this afternoon how blessed I am. And I was thinking that maybe some persons might not know 
that Bishop Daly is my teacher, was my teacher, is my teacher, because I'm still learning from him. <laughs> but he taught us in Bible school, ministerial ethics, and I just bless God for you, sir. I remember having a uh, lady daily in that class. And uh, we, we were sat beside each other when we learned together. And I remember when exam time was near, I said to her, say, you know, um, are you nervous about exam? She said, I'm a little bit because I know my husband is going to mark my paper harder than everybody else. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. But <laughs> I'm just so glad that, you know, God has brought us together this side of the vineyard. And God is just wonderful. Glad to have my wife with me tonight. God bless you, Lady Hall. She is such a great support, and I give God thanks for her. Could you turn with me your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 27? I'll be reading just one verse. I, I was telling... Uh, Elder Martin, that tonight feels like a, a, a preview of Friday night. Yes. Uh, yeah. Just a little. Yes. So if you were not planning on being here Friday night, change your plans. Bless God. Bless God. Isaiah 27. I am reading one passage of scripture just from verse 8. And then I'm going to call my friend... What's her name again? Sister Mayoka, and she will pray before we hear the word of the Lord. Isaiah 27, verse 8. It says, In measure, when it shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it. He stayeth his rough wind. In the day of the east wind. He stayeth his rough wind in the day of the east wind. Sister Mayoko, could you? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, as we come before you today right now, I pray whatever is, that will be said by Minister Brian Hall, that he will edify us right now in Jesus' name. I pray that each and every one of us will be convicted by the word that was said and that will be said. I pray right now, oh God, whatever that we're struggling with, I pray that we bring it to you and not be afraid, not to watch any face as was said in the past night, but to come to you in conviction. No matter what we're going through, we have to understand that you'll always be there for us. So right now, I pray that you touch each and every one of us. I pray right now that you touch us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet so that we may be continuously convicted on an everyday basis and come to you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord God bless you. You may be seated in Jesus' name. I want to talk to us tonight for a few minutes. I'm aware that tonight is Tuesday night and we have a long week ahead of us. It's not, never my intention to stand before you long and I don't intend to be long. But I just want to talk to us tonight about the east wind. The east wind. The east wind. Every one of us would agree that our world is going through an unprecedented time. And a lot of persons are asking the questions, what on earth is going on? I just want to share with us for a few minutes what God is doing in these last days through the east wind. Through the east wind. The wind is one of Earth's most unique element. It, what makes the wind so intriguing is the fact that it is not visible to the human eye. 
But nobody can debate that the wind exists. Jesus in John chapter 3 tells Nicodemus that the wind bloweth where it listeth. But you can't tell from where it is coming or where it is going. Jesus said, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. The wind in itself is spirit. The primary word for spirit in Hebrew is ra, which simply means wind. Paul in 2 Corinthians 4.18 says, While we look not at the things which are seen, because the things, but the things which are not seen, and I know it sounds paradoxical, he said, because the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So we would all conclude that the wind is eternal. Psalm 135 verse 7 says, He causeth the vapor to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightning for the rain. He bringeth out the wind out of his treasures. Today was a very windy day. And every time I feel the wind, I remind myself that this is the treasure of God. He brought the wind out of his treasures. The wind clearly takes commandments from God. Psalm 107.25 says, He commandeth and raise up the stormy wind which lifteth up the waves thereof. And that is why we see the disciples in awe of Jesus in Mark 4.39. When he spoke to the wind, they asked the question, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the seas obey him? Scriptures tell us clearly that there are four winds that govern the earth. They are located in the four corners of the earth. Namely, north wind, the south wind, the west wind, and the east wind. Each wind carries out a particular function as directed by God. We would realize that any time we see the four winds on earth working as one, there is always revival. Everybody say revival. Anytime you see the four winds coming together, revival. We could look at Ezekiel 37 where all four winds are working together. But when the winds are working individually, the north wind is the wind of judgment. According to Proverbs 25, 23, it says the north wind driveth away rain. In Ezekiel 1, verse 4, uh, while Ezekiel was at the river Shebar, Ezekiel experienced the north wind accompanied with lightnings and thunders. The south wind is believed to be a subtle wind and is thought to be the wind of temptation and deception. In Luke 12, 44, it records that when you see the south wind blow, they said that there will be heat and a comet to pass. So the south wind is a warm wind. In Job 37, 17, it says, How thy garments are warm when he quieted the earth by the south wind. Yet in Acts 27, we see the sailors refusing to believe the apostle Paul when he told them it is not safe to sail. But the Bible said that when they look at the south wind and it blew softly, 
They said, show warm weather. Yeah, man, it, 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 is, it is good for us to sail. The west wind is known as the wind of compassion, mercy, and pity. And though the west wind is only named one time in scripture in Exodus 10 verse 19, it says the Lord turned a mighty west wind and it took away the locusts and all of them were cast into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in Egypt. That's the wind we love. The west wind. Mercy and pity. The east wind is the one we are here to talk about tonight. It is the wind of affliction and pain. But the end result is always change. Touch your neighbor and say, change is coming. Oh God. Every time God desires change in the earth realm, the east wind is employed and sent. Ah, oh, God Almighty. The east wind uh, is, in a literal term, is a wind that blows from the wilderness. It blows uh, violently and it is packed with venomous heat. Everybody say heat. When the east wind blows, things die. When the east wind blows, uh, God's lives are disrupted. When the east wind blows, everybody wonder what on earth is going on. In Job chapter 1 verse 19, it says, And behold, a great wind from the wilderness smote the four corners of the house of Job's eldest son, and it fell on the young men, and they are all dead and I am alone. I am escaped alone to tell thee. You see, it was an east wind that struck that house and all of Job's children were dead. Job feared that day would come because the Bible said every time his children gathered to feast, Job would uh, make sacrifice to God the day after, hoping that they did not somehow got so happy that they did something that was displeasing to God but now the very thing that Job feared oh God was happening all his children were dead because of the east wind when the east wind blows people die in chapter 2, we see Job's body being greatly afflicted when the east wind blew in sickness and disease. Job, the Bible tells us, was so afflicted. Dead. Oh God, that maggots were now living inside his sores. His wife was so distraught to see his condition. She said, Job, I would rather to bury you than to see you living in this condition. Curse God. God and die. Job said you speak like a foolish woman. Foolish because number one you do not understand what God is doing. Oh God and number two even though he slay me I'm going to always trust him. Oh God Almighty you see Christians ought to have some mentality. Oh God that is out of this world Christians ought to experience peace oh God where people don't even understand how could you be experiencing peace in this season in your life oh God almighty because Job was a wise man and Job knew the character Characteristics of the wind. Job didn't know that God was betting on him. Job, but Job knew that the house fell because of an east wind. And Job realized the character 
characteristics of the east wind it blows in anguish and pain and hurt but the end result is always change oh God almighty the ultimate reason for the east wind is change that's why we see Job in Job 14 14 he asks the question if a man dies shall he live again but he said all the day of mine appointed time will I wait why am I waiting my change is coming anytime the east wind blows oh God all it is telling you is that your change is near a lot of people that don't understand the assignment of the east wind when it blows, they curse God. When it blows, they leave the house of God. When the east wind blows, they look for somebody to blame because they do not understand the purpose of the east wind and that when the east wind is blowing, all you got to do is just sit down and wait. Oh God Almighty. Oh, I told you that God is going to teach the church how to wait. Oh God, God is teaching us how to wait. The very fact that he has not yet come for the church elder is telling us to wait just a little while longer but don't uh, be discouraged because he that shall come will come and when he comes there will be no more waiting oh God but we are waiting until he comes waiting or patient is something that we have to learn to yield ourselves to uh, because it's the fruit of the it's an aspect of the fruit of the spirit uh, yet too many persons are struggling with it uh, can I encourage my young people to wait uh, just wait uh, oh God almighty uh, young people uh, especially this generation uh, what they call them generation X are D O O Z Okay, so, all right, right. Uh, yes, they, 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 they're used to everything fast paced, quick food, fast food, fast cars, fast internet, fast this. But when it comes to your salvation, God shall wait. Uh, oh, God Almighty. Uh, James uh, in 3 and 4, ver James 1, 3 and 4 uh, says, Knowing that the trying of your faith uh, worketh patience, uh, but let patience have her power perfect work uh, that he might be perfect uh, and wanting nothing uh, people that wait uh, oh God almighty uh, after they wait on God God gives them more uh, than they could ever imagine uh, in Romans 5 verse 3 uh, Paul is saying and not only so but we glory in tribulations also uh, knowing that tribulation worketh patience oh God that's why God sent the east wind I remember there was a time when I wanted to be the best husband uh, there could be and I said wifey what luck I yet and she said you're too impatient and I went to God and I said God give me some patience and then all hell broke loose I called my mentor and I said sir what What's going on? He said, what you mean? And I'm telling you, this is going wrong. That is going. And he said, did you pray a prayer? I said, yes, I prayed for patience. He said, Barbara, and I don't know how to tell you. But the only thing that worked at patience is tribulation. Oh, God. Nothing else gives you patience but tribulation. And so you got to learn to endure. Oh, God Almighty. Stop the name and tell them change is coming. Uh, don't go nowhere. Just uh, hold on. Change is coming. Job knew the east wind never ever blows and change not take place but we got to wait 
David in Psalm 27, 13 and 14 said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the land. Oh, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. When God see you have the uh, arm yourself with the mind to wait, he's going to send help from the sanctuary. Oh, God Almighty, wait I say on the Lord. But when you are con Convince uh, that change is coming. Uh, oh God, you, you can wait with courage. Uh, it won't always be like this. Uh, Psalm 119, 71. Uh, David, when he looks back uh, over his life uh, and see the impact of the east wind uh, in his life, uh, he said it was good uh, that I was afflicted uh, because uh, my affliction uh, told me the east wind is blowing and uh, while the east wind is blowing it is also testifying that my change oh, God is coming I hear Isaiah in Isaiah 40 31 he said but they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Oh God Almighty. Isaiah makes reference to the eagle. And I realize by studying that the eagle is a very unique bird that outlives other birds because of its ability to renew itself. Eagles live an average of 30 years old. And when the eagle reaches 30, its body starts to deteriorate. It's not able to fly and soar the way it used to. So what it does, it retreats to the mountain. Hmm. God's going to take somebody to a mountaintop experience. The eagle goes to the mountain for about five months. And he beats his beak upon the rock until it breaks out. Painful experience. And he rubs on the rock until all its feathers are plucked out. And the eagle waits until the feathers start grow back. And its peaks start growing back. And guess what? It can live another 30 years. Oh God Almighty. Sometime you got to retreat to the mountain. Oh God to renew yourself. And when you come down. Oh God you feel like a brand new bird. A brand new eagle. Oh God Almighty. While the east wind is blowing. It's not time to complain it's time to go to the mountain and rub on the rock and beat your beak and draw closer to God because the east wind is saying change is coming change is coming change is coming in my walk with God I realize that the darkest hours in my life always proceed a new move of God. Oh God, when you see all hell breaking loose and you don't understand what's happening, it's the east wind saying, your change is coming. Your change is coming. Yes, the, uh, the, the wind is 
hot like hell. Oh God, and some people just want the experience to hurry up and pass, but don't rush it. Oh God, learn to wait, learn to wait, learn to wait, because your change is coming. In Genesis 46, verse 6, 41, verse 6. In Genesis 41, Pharaoh has a dream. And he couldn't uh, interpret the dream. And somebody said, hey, I know a guy in prison who can uh, interpret dreams. And they called for Joseph. And when Joseph heard Pharaoh's dream, Genesis 41 verse 6, listen. It says, then behold, seven years, thin and scorched by the east wind uh, sprouted up after them. In verse uh, uh, 23 of the same chapter 41, it says, And lo, seven years uh, withered, thin, and scorched by the east wind sprouted up after them. In verse 27, it says, The seven lean and ugly cows uh, that came up after them are seven years uh, and the 17 years uh, scorched by the east wind uh, will be seven years uh, of famine. From Joseph heard about the east wind uh, he could say fear uh, change is coming. Oh God, there's going to be seven years of plenty and then seven years of famine. What you're going to do is that when you have the plenty, you're going to store up because it's not always going to be plenty. The east wind is coming. The east wind is coming. Oh God Almighty, can I tell somebody who think they're standing, be careful full. The east wind is coming. Oh God, you dare not stand in your own strength. The east wind is coming. Oh God Almighty, I see too many people in church. When the east wind blows, they cannot be found. Pastor, we are still recovering from COVID. COVID was an east wind. Nobody can deny the changes that happened since COVID came. And we are still searching for some people. They are still not found. The minute Joseph heard about the east wind, he said, I understand it, fear. Change is coming. In Exodus 10, verse 13, the Bible says that Moses stretched forth his staff over the land of Egypt, and the Lord directed an east wind on the land all day day and all night and when it was morning the east wind brought in the locusts oh God the locusts are coming the locusts are coming oh God almighty but oh God the thing I like about God is that anybody ever experienced a locust season oh God where the locusts eat off everything and your swear said this is it but Joel told you that our God is a restorer. He's getting ready to give you back the years that the locust and the caterpillar and the palmer worm have eaten restoration. Change is coming. The significance of the locusts is that God sent ten plagues.
plagues upon the land of Egypt to defeat the ten main gods of Egypt at their game. Uh, he sent the locusts at number eight. Why did the locust come at number eight? Because eight is a number of new beginnings. Touch your neighbor and tell them change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. By the time they got to the Red Sea, Israel began to complain. Oh, God Almighty. In Jude, Exodus 14, verse 21, they said, Lord, Moses, where you bring me out of here? I kill you, I want to kill me off. And Moses said, God, I told you I never wanted this job. And God said, Moses, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Oh, God Almighty. God told Moses, Stretch forth your rod over the sea. Oh God. Uh, Exodus 14 21. Somebody finds it and read it for me. Exodus 14 21. Somebody help me preach this word. Go ahead, read it. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry, and the waters were divided. So when they came to the Red Sea, thinking this was their grave, God said, no. It's not your grave. It's not the end. It's a new beginning. Oh God, he told Moses, stretch forth your rod over the Red Sea. And God sent the east wind because the east wind is the wind of change. Oh God Almighty, the east wind was so hot that not only did it part the Red Sea, but it shook up every moisture. Oh, God Almighty, out of the bottom of the Red Sea, that by the time they start walking, they were walking on dry ground. Oh, God Almighty. And God said, Moses, turn back your rod. Oh, God Almighty. Because somebody thought the Red Sea was going to kill you. But the Red Sea is not your grave. I heard the Bible said, the Egyptians that you see today touch your neighbor and say change is coming change is coming change is coming oh God almighty change Somebody said change. Oh God. In Psalm 48 verse 7. It says thou breakest the ship of Tarshish. With an east wind. Oh God. You remember Jonah? Oh God. God sent an east wind because change is coming. In Jonah 4 verse 8, Jonah was so upset that God saved Nineveh that he went under a gourd tree. Oh God. And God sent an east wind to kill that tree. Oh God, I'm here to tell somebody, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Oh God, it's just an east wind.
Oh, God. Anytime God desires change, He said, Come here, East Wind. In Jeremiah 18, verse 7. It says, I will scatter them with an east wind before their enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of adversity. Because God said, I sent you, Jeremiah, down to the potter's house. And has caused you to show them uh, the wheel that was on the potter's wheel. And I told them, I want to make some changes in you. Oh God, but if you refuse to change, then I'm going to send the east wind. Oh God Almighty, if you don't come off your pumps and pride, the east wind is coming oh God almighty because God is fixing up the church oh God for the rapture God is picking out from among the Gentiles a people for his name oh God and the east wind is blowing so hot that some people can't take the climate oh God almighty but you need to understand that all the east wind is telling you is that change is coming Paul knew too much about the east wind Oh God. Paul was going through, is going through. And that's why he never ever complained about the east wind. Because the east wind was shaping him. It was molding him to become more like Christ. Oh God Almighty, brethren, no, no chastisement uh, of the present time is joyous. But please understand that those who we love, he chastises it. Ah, uh, too many times I've tried to step out on the will of God, ah, uh, but he keeps on chastising me. Ah, uh, God, and bringing me back into focus oh God it's, it's tribulation that work at patience oh God almighty and it's the east wind that keeps you humble oh God Job lost everything in a split second Job lost everything and so Job said hear what I'm not going to focus on what I had I'm going to focus on him the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. So what if I lose everything? As long as I don't lose Jesus. David said, Lord, I've sinned and take what you want. Take from me. You killed the boy already. But don't take your Holy Spirit. Oh God Almighty. I can lose anything. I can lose everything. But take not. Take not Oh God, change is coming. Change is coming. I hear Jesus say, Let not your heart be troubled. Oh God, that the east wind is blowing. You believe in God? Believe also in me, in my Father's house. Oh God Almighty, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Just yesterday, I was thinking on the word of God. And I'm saying, God, you know, I'm not going to help. I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to help. Hell was not prepared for me. No. 
Jesus said, the lake of fire is prepared for the devil and his angels. I am not the devil and I'm not one of his angels. He said, but if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again, oh God, and receive you unto myself. Touch your neighbor and tell him, heaven is prepared for you. Heaven is prepared for you. Don't go where no provision is made for you. Don't go where no provision is made for you. Oh God Almighty, don't go. We are no provision. I'm closing. The east wind is blowing like it has never blown before. And Isaiah prophesied that God is blowing the east wind, but he is gauging it. But a day is coming when the east wind will not be gauged. Right now it is gauged not to destroy you, but to keep you God conscious. There are persons that are sick in their bodies, and you wonder how come because. You should not be the person to get sick based on your lifestyle, your eating habits. Change is coming. The church only strives under persecution. The Bible said, woe to them that are at ease in Zion. You know a church that is at ease. You see, when I can't take sister so-and-so, I'm in a light brother so-and-so, we are at ease. You see, when we are under persecution, I don't have time for I can't like you. Because I need your prayer. Yes, when the church is under persecution, you don't need to preach any message about unity. Oh God, we realize that the church is only strong when we are united. Oh God Almighty, one shall chase a thousand, but make that one ever grab our next one. Oh God Almighty, touch your name and say, Change is coming, change is coming, change is coming. Even though what we call church, change is coming. Oh God Almighty, the apostolic church uh, is a church that is known for prayer and fasting. The first time I went on a three-day fast, Rabbi Martin, a persecution reached me. And when all hell I broke loose in my life, nobody now to tell me say a prayer time. Me a walk and a prayer. Me a sleep a shenda bakosi and a daba. Change is coming.
The other day I was looking at the church and I'm saying, Lord, the church have a lot of problems. The church have a lot of issues. And the Lord sent me to the book and I read where he's coming for a glorified church. Without spot or wrinkle or blemish or any such thing. And I'm saying, God, me not see all you can get. That church are where me I see. Without spot or wrinkle or blemish. He said, you don't worry. Change is coming. Oh, change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. Can I talk to a young person that can't see yourself living for God? Change is coming. 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 All you got to do is let the weak say, I am strong. Oh, let the weak oh, God say, I I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Change is coming. The east wind can never blow and no change take place. The Bible puts it this way. That the word of God will not return unto him void. The wind will not return to him void. But it shall accomplish. Oh God. Somebody is going through an east wind. Arm yourself with the mind to wait. Change is coming. Oh God, life and death is in the power of your tongue. Come on. Speak life over to somebody. Change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. Oh God Almighty. Sir, daily change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. Since the daily change is coming. I know you feel the east wind. I know you feel the east wind. But all it is telling us. Oh God, somebody just stand on your feet and begin to glorify God. Somebody just open your mouth and thank God for the change. 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 Paul said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Somebody shout a praise in this house. A change is coming. Can you give the wind? Can you prophesy to the east wind? I accept my change. I accept my change. I'm worshiping God for my change is coming. I know it's rough sometimes. Sometimes I feel like showing the towel. But I can't show in the towel because my change is coming. If you know that you know that you know that your change is coming. Come on, send up some prayers. Put some fasting on it. Your family is under pressure. Your husband is under pressure. Your job is under pressure. Everything is under pressure. But because your change is coming, I'm going to praise some more. I'm going to worship some more. I'm going to give him some glory. Come on, somebody. My change is coming. The hotter the battle, the sweet. I said the sweeter, the victory. My change is coming. The wind is blowing. And because the wind is blowing, God orchestrate the wind to blow to get us attention. And when he get the first century church attention, praise the name of the Lord in the book of Acts chapter 4. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. When they say, shouldn't preach in his name no more. In the midst of persecution, they say, we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and which we have heard. Because change has to come our way. Come on, could we pray for the preacher right now? 
in the name of the Lord Jesus point your hands upon the preacher what a word tonight a powerful word many of you was wonder where is he going but he go right to Egypt and come back out because out of Egypt he brought out of his son praise the name of the Lord wise men came from the east they want to kill Jesus but the east wind blow and send the baby back to Egypt and the next thing out of Egypt I bring out my son and tonight we are sons of God father we thank you for your man servant tonight let the fire of God rest upon him let the glory cloud rest upon him let the fire rest upon his family cover his wife from every backlash father anoint him and cover him under your blood we decree and declare tonight that this word will not return unto us void but it already accomplished that which it commanded to do we give you thanks for the word somebody wave your hand and give God thanks for this word my change is coming look at the situation and prophesy say my change is coming I know you'll try to hold me down but my change is coming some of you have been waiting for the Holy Ghost but tonight the Holy Ghost is right here your change is right here come on you have not baptized in water yet your change is right here he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved you hear you without the Holy Ghost we want to pray with you you're not saved you have not yet been baptized in water calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and here tonight I want you to run come to this old-fashioned altar we like to pray with you every apostolic circle service praise God there's an altar call you without the Holy Ghost come there's a wind blowing right now on you come 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 mother father uncle niece young boy young girl rush to this altar if you are viewing praise God by Facebook whichever uh, platform you and right in your home God can fill you with the Holy Ghost come on open up your mouth up in here open up your mouth come young people we want to pray for you tonight I know the enemy is attacking your left right and center but there's a change coming on you come on we're not giving up on our young people come on open up your mouth in here in the name of the Lord Jesus come man come come you don't baptize yet in water come you don't get the Holy Ghost yet come hallelujah you can't go to heaven without the holy ghost the bible said i'm in this seal the lord knoweth them that i is come on you need the holy ghost in the name of the lord my hope is built on nothing less than jesus blood and righteousness i dare not trust that sweetest rain come on church but only leave on Jesus name oh yes on Christ let rock I stand come on church all of the ground he is sinking sand come on somebody come and pray for somebody Oh, all on the ground. Yes, 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 yes. He's singing sad. Oh, on Christ the solid rock I stand. Come on, church. All on the ground. Here we go, the Holy Ghost. Come, come, come. Don't you leave this house without receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. On the ground. He's sick. He's hold his covenant. He's hold his covenant. His blood. Support me in the Lord. Me in the well. When all around my soul give way. All around my soul gives way. Even my hope and sleep. come on church uh, on Christ solid rock I stand come on believers all of the ground is sinking sand yes Holy Ghost 
Oh, another ground. Come on, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Open up your mouth right now. Receive your Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Open up your mouth. All on the ground. All on the ground. Yes, 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 yes. He's singing. Come on, open up your mouth, Holy Ghost seekers. Oh, all on the ground. Oh, he's singing. When darkness veils his lovely face, darkness veils his lovely face. I rest, rest on his unchanging. Come on, church. My anchor, anchor within the veil. Come on, but Christ the Son, Lord, I stand. Come on, all on the ground he is sinking. Sand. Come on, come on, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Nobody get the Holy Ghost and don't open your mouth. Open up your mouth. Kata Yababasha with stammering lips. Open up your mouth. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Kata Yabasha. Yes, Holy Ghost. Let the fire, fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon you. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Open up your mouth. I feel the anointing in this house. Shut house. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Receive. Shekota. Yes, Lord. I feel something on this altar. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive it. Yes. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Fill me, Holy Ghost. Fill me up. Fill me up, Holy Ghost. Fill me up, Holy Ghost. Fill me up, Holy Ghost. Blow on her tonight. Wind of Pentecost. Blow it on you. Wind of Pentecost. Blow on this altar. Blow, wind, blow. Yes. Yes. Open up your mouth. Receive it. The Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Fire. Tongues of fire. Tongues of fire. Blow, Holy Ghost. Blow, blow, blow. Blow, blow. Open up your mouth. 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 Open up your mouth tonight, Spirit of the Living God. Yes. Open up tonight, fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes, Lord. Come on, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up your spirit. Open up your spirit. Come on, open up your mouth. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Come on, seekers. The Holy Ghost is a must. The Holy Ghost is a must tonight. Open up your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Shia. Yes, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Fire on this altar tonight. Come on, come on. Come on, church. Send some fire on this altar. I feel some power in here. Uta Shai. Press on it tonight. Shut up. Yes. 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 Fire. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. I feel something. Shut up. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. Shakataya. Yes. Fire on this altar. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. Lord God, are you ready tonight? Shakataya. Holy Ghost. Move on this altar. Shaya. Ketosha. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. 
us free. Come on, church. Every fetters. Good God. And he said, You, you free. I am now on the altar. I am now on the altar. Come on, worshipers. I am now. Come on, Holy Ghost. Oh, on the altar. Come on, Holy Ghost seekers. I am now. Get to Shia. Can you feel the glory? Can you feel the glory? Can you feel the anointing? Can you feel the glory tonight? Receive the Holy Ghost. I will never doubt my Savior. Come on, church. I will never doubt my Savior. Come on, church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will never. Come on, come on. Open up your mouth tonight. Open up your spirit tonight. My Savior. Because he set me free. Me. Everybody singing the Holy Ghost. Jesus break. Jesus break. Walk on this altar, Holy Ghost. Move on this altar, Holy Ghost. Stretch out on this altar, Holy Ghost. Move on this altar. You call your papa, papa. Come on, church. Jesus Christ. Every fetter. Yes, Lord. How he said. Be, be free. Sing it one more time. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Come on, Holy Ghost seekers, open your mouth. Come on, deliverance is here for you tonight. Yes, Lord. Jesus Christ. Every, every fetter. Come on, church. My Jesus Christ. Every fetter.
Promise 
Worship him, worship him. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hold somebody's hand right now. Hold somebody's hand. Hallelujah. Hold somebody's hand, hallelujah. Amen, we're going to believe God for somebody here at this altar, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we're going to believe him. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we, we give you glory and praise, hallelujah. 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 Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings down power and our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns 
Join hands with me right now. Hallelujah. We'll be praying for. Amen. The folks at the altar right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a war going on right here. We have to help them fight. And we already have the victory. But we have to help them fight. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we call upon you right now, Lord. As we're in on this battlefield God we claim victory we claim victory oh God for the person that is tarrying right now who is seeking your face who desires the Holy Ghost who's, who desire change in their lives Father we call upon you right now to just intervene I pray God that our faiths be lifted that our heart be lifted. That our praise be lifted up to your God. Because you're lifted in this house. Touch the hearts of that, that are at this altar tonight, God. Touch them, God. Touch their mind, their spirit. Give, it, give them that heart to change. That heart to just say, yes, Lord. I submit everything to you. Father. We ask that thy will be done as we unite. As we hold the hands right here and call on your name, Jesus. I pray that as our hearts and our spirit is united, that someone will receive their breakthrough right now. Father, we call upon you, Lord. Who is our help? Who is our keeper? That your will be done, not my will. But thy will be done, God. Have your way, Jesus. As we pray for these at the altar right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and give God praise right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
worship him. Hallelujah. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hold somebody's hand once again as we close. Hold somebody's hand right now. Father, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for your word tonight. For a change is coming. For a change is coming. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father, as we close. We ask, oh God, that you cover us right now. Cover the ones that have gone before. Cover the ones that are still here. Cover the ones that are watching online. Cover the ones that didn't get to make it, oh God. Father, we say thank you right now for your word. We give you all praise and glory in the name of Jesus. what we sing in worship.
For your change is gonna come Be strong, my sister For your work is not done now Keep on believing And hold on tight He's able to give you joy In a morning He's able. Come on. He's able. He's able. I know that he can do it. He said he'll help me through it. He's able. That's it, that's it. Oh. He's able. Hold on, my brother. For your change is going to come. Be strong, my sister. For your work is not done now. Keep on believing and hold on tight. He's able to give you joy in the morning light. He's able. Yeah, that's it. I know, I know. He's able. I know. I know that he can do it. He said he'll help me do it. He's able. He's able. One more time, he's able. He's able. know that he can do it. He said he'll help me do it. He's able. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. He's able. Oh, he's able, he's able, he's able. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. No, I know y'all don't know that song. Hallelujah. Are we going to sing one more one song before? Amen. And we're going to change it a little bit. Hallelujah. Well, I've got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. I've got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. I've got a feeling. That everything is going to be alright Be alright, be alright, be alright Well, I've got a feeling That everything is going to be alright I've got a feeling That everything is going to be alright I've got a feeling That everything is going to be alright be alright, be alright, be alright. Jesus, He told me that everything is gonna be alright. Jesus, He told me that everything is gonna be alright. Be alright, be alright, be alright. Be alright. What kind of church is this? 
What kind of church is this? What kind of church is this? Well, it's a hand clapping, food something, tongue talking, Holy Ghost and a pattern. The more I praise Him, the better I feel. The more I praise Him, the better I feel. I say, the more I praise Him, the better I feel. Oh, it's a hand clapping, food something, tongue talking. Holy Ghost and the Patron. The more I praise Him, the better I feel. I say the more I praise Him, the better I feel. Oh, the more I praise Him, the better I feel. Oh, it's a hand clapping, foot stomping, tongue talking. Holy Ghost and the Patron. God bless you tonight. Hallelujah.